is near. Uh, time is very short, saints. We don't have time to play church. We don't have time to patty cake. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I came to pray, not play. So we're going to pray. Let me get right down to it. Saints, you need to be encouraged. I need to be encouraged. We all need to encourage one another and sharpen each other's iron. So I'm going to encourage you today. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon us me and you. Now we're, we're talking about Jesus here, but we're supposed to look like Jesus. So again, we're talking about looking like Jesus, doing what Jesus did, being his hands and his feet and his voice today, not next week. You don't know if next week is coming or not. Okay. So do something today for Jesus. The spirit of the Lord God, Yahuwah is upon me and you. Because the Lord has anointed us to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent us to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they, that's us saints, shall build up the old wastes, and they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations. Just look behind us. Look at the desolations of many generations to the generation that's on this earth right now. They have no clue who Jesus is. It's time to get up out the four walls to the maimed, the lame, the sick, the blind, the lepers, the homeless. Uh-huh. Instead of spending all this money on stuff, and new buildings where the people are not coming to. We need to be out doing the work of the Lord. He said, go out in the highways and the byways. He's called everybody. He's called us. We've been called. Everybody's got an excuse. Now it's time to go after the maimed, the, blind, the, the lame, the uh, sick, the, the downhearted, the maimed. Yeah, get out of the pew and do something. And if you already are, God bless you. Do some more. Because the laborers are few. If you'll switch over here to Luke chapter 4 verse 18, you're going to see that Jesus fulfilled the scripture right here in front of your face. It's amazing. Yeah. Just read the Bible, saints. We'd have all kind of understanding. Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. Okay, so it was good tidings in the Old Testament. Now it's the gospel. That means repent. And be saved. Put your trust in Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus. Messiah. Mm. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. To the poor. Yeah. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. The recovering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised. This is inside the church and outside the church. This is for saved folks and for non-saved folks. To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Father God, I give you praise, I give you glory, and I give you honor. For this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, we just lift up the name of Yahuwah. We lift up the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. We just lift up the name above all names, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, who is Yahshua HaMashiach, the only name whereby man can be saved that is under the heavens and all of the universes and the ones that we don't have any clue about but just think we do. Father God, you are the only way. You are the only truth. You are the only, the only way that we can be reconciled is through Jesus, your son, back to you, Father God. I just get excited, saints. I don't know about y'all, but I'm praying for you today that the spirit of the Lord will be upon you today. The spirit of the most high God will be upon you, that you will speak someone, you will speak to someone, you will encourage them. Give someone an encouraging note. Just sit down and write somebody a note. Just tell them this is a ministry that it's to you and only to you and you might make that person 
Veterans Day. Saints, you might save a life. You might keep somebody from committing suicide. The lady on Saturday, she said she was ready to just kill herself. And the Lord stepped in, brought her little puppy. She had to feed that little puppy and tend to it. And that's the only reason she was alive. But he knew he had an appointment with her on Saturday. And he radically saved her. Not only did he save her, but he converted her. He converted her, healed her withered arm. It just reminds me that Jesus was in the temple on that day. On that day that he went in the temple and he healed the man with the withered hand and all the religious folks were upset because he healed somebody on the Sabbath day. Well, saints, I'm going to proclaim over you today. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon you. He has anointed you to preach the gospel. He has called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light so that you can preach to the poor folks. And that ain't just people that are around you. That means there's some folks out there that you ain't even seen yet that needs to hear from you. They need to hear your testimony. I am just speaking over you you today that you be encouraged tell people what the lord has done for you tell people how he got you up out of the bed today tell them how he's given you a roof over your head food on your table that you're healthy you can talk you've got your right mind the woman said this is the first time i've ever been in my right mind now think about that saints how much do we have to honor god with and glorify god with and bring him just hallelujah praise the lord spontaneous it's not against the law to say thank you Jesus out loud in public. Now it might get you a few looks, but yeah, maybe they'll look at Jesus. Maybe they'll see Jesus in you, but maybe you're afraid that if you do say thank you Jesus, they'll look at you and not see Jesus. So that's what you got to get right at home in your private personal time between you and the Lord because he wants to use you. You are worthy of the calling. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verses 11 and 12. You are worthy of this calling. Don't let the devil beat you down. Just like in, in uh, Luke, I mean uh, in Matthew where the, the devil led Jesus out, I'm sorry, where the Holy Spirit led Jesus out in the wilderness where the devil tempted him 40 days and 40 nights. When he come up out of there, he was ready to go do the work. So saints, the devil's going to tempt you. The devil's going to come at you. He's going to, Jesus going to pull all the stops out and he's going to try to stop you in your wilderness. Go ahead and get through that 40 days. Get through that wilderness, whatever. If it's in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, just put the word on the enemy and the Lord will lead you out of that wilderness. He'll lead you out of that place of oppression and he will pick you up himself. He'll dust you off and he'll say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Now get back out there in the fight. Okay? It's just like being in a boxing ring. Okay? You go, you sit down for a minute, you get your cuts all healed up, you get all them bruises healed up, and that they put you right back out in there in the ring to box some more. Okay, this is 12 rounds, and we ain't even got to the first two or three yet, Saints. So you better, you better get in shape, because it's all coming. Yeah, all hell fixing to break loose. Yeah, oh, you can't say that? Oh, H-E double hockey sticks then. Read the Bible. It's happening around us. It's so exciting because we got all the answers right here. So the acceptable day of the Lord, that's today. The 25th of February, 2019, the day of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I declare and decree over you that you have been sent to heal the brokenhearted. You, you have the word of God in you. You have been sent to heal the brokenhearted. You, yes. You have actually been called by the Lord to preach deliverance to the captives deliverance to the captives. This ain't something that they're going to get in 45 years sitting on a pew in a church. This is something they can get instantaneously from the Lord God Almighty himself because this is a package. When you say yes to Jesus, you can be healed, delivered, sanctified, set free, and filled with the Holy Spirit all in one setting. It don't take 30 and 40 and 50 years. What it takes is a heart that is after the Lord that is contrite and broken and knows that there ain't no way but up. Okay, so sometimes maybe some of us need to get off our pew. Sometimes some of us need to get our nose out of the air. And sometimes some of us just need to get out in the field. Now, if I'm talking to you, don't be offended. And if I am talking to you, don't be offended. So whether I am talking to you or not, don't be offended. Just read the word of God and get out there and help somebody. Woo, open a door for somebody. Do something 
that people see Jesus in you. And I'm declaring decreeing over you that you're going to be the one that God uses that their sight will be recovered. I'm not talking about just every blind folk in the whole entire world. I'm talking about people that are spiritually blind. This is talking about spiritually blind people. You have the answer, saint. And I'm just declaring and decreeing that because you have the answer, that holy boldness will come over you. And you'll say, you know what, Lord? They're more valuable right now than I am because they don't have you. Yeah, think about that. I'm already there. I'm already saved. My name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I can die and go to heaven today. But they need you. Is it time, saints, that we lay down our, our lives for another person? Okay, God's going to protect you. If he sent you there, he's going to get you. He's going to not only get you there, but he's going to get you through what he sent you to do. So I'm uh, declaring and decreeing again, the Spirit of the Lord God is on you. Because he has anointed you to preach good tidings. He has anointed you to preach the gospel to the meek, to the scared, to the homeless, to the folks in church. I don't care where they're at. Somebody needs a word from you. Testify. I declare and decree this day that you will bind up the brokenhearted. You will give a word in season. You will heal the brokenhearted because the Spirit of God in you is not going to sit still and do nothing. You might, but the Holy Spirit will not. He will speak to you. He will give you an unction to function at that junction. I'll say that again. The Holy Spirit will give you an unction to function at that junction. And when you get to that junction, don't don't let it be a, hmm, which way should I go? Which way should I go? You know which way to go. He said, do not turn to the left or to the right, but continue, continue to move forward. And saints, you have the anointing. You have the power of God in you. Stop saying that you can't do this. You are calling God a liar if you say that you can't do it and you're not worthy. Saints, check it out. God is not a man that should lie. He called you so that you could multiply. Saints, I am getting pumped up because I know that time is short, time is near, and we do not have time to patty cake. We don't have time to play church. It's okay to go to church and fellowship, but saints, that ain't all there is to it. We got to get out into the highways and byways, and you are the one to proclaim the liberty to the captives. I declare and decree that over you. You will declare what? the word of God and they will hear the word of God and they will know that you have Jesus and they will have liberty because the word of God says if you know the truth the truth will set you free saints and you will be the one with the keys the Lord said that what he's given us the keys to the kingdom and if he's given us the keys to the kingdom that means that we have the keys to open the prison and let them that are bound get out this is the word of God. It's Isaiah chapter 61 verses 1 through 4 and it is Luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19. Saints, this is for us today. We will appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. People that are heavy in heart, people that don't know which way is up, they need an encouraging word and we're to give them beauty for ashes that means when they're down and they're out and they're mourning and they have a spirit of heaviness on them we're going to give them a word that comes directly from the lord not from our flesh not from our mind but from the word of god it's all over you it's all in you because he lives in you he sealed you with the holy spirit you can do this you will give them the oil of joy for mourning. And let me, let me explain that to you, saints. You take off the garment of heaviness and the garment of mourning and the, the garment of, oh, woe is me and depression and oppression and suppression and compression because that is from the devil. It is not from the Lord God Almighty. You take that garment of heaviness off and he puts his garment of praise on you, on them. And if you will just start worshiping the Lord spontaneously, thank you, Jesus. God, you are great. You are holy. You are righteous. You are pure. I love you, Lord, and I'm going to worship you in season, out of season, when they want to hear it and when they don't. I'm going to be full of the joy of the Lord because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And saints, I promise you, if the joy of the Lord is your strength, then that strength is going to help another person get free from their spirit of mourning and heaviness. The spirit of mourning and heaviness. Put the praise on them. Put the garment of praise on them. And it says that we will be called the trees of righteousness. The trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. And you are that. You are that tree of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. 
and I declare and decree that you will be the ones that build the old ways. You'll raise up the former desolations. You'll repair the way cities and the desolations of many generations. Be blessed today. I declare and decree over you the spirit of the Lord God is upon you. You will hear him. You will obey him. And the Lord will confirm your words in their midst. You will be blessed.